So we have the plastic structure on. And we know that all the electronics work, especially the ones that didn't work before. So why don't we get the dash mounted so we have status and lights and controls and see how the car drives. We have OBD2 port in place. I have the cable release lever on here. Let, let's get that mounted to get it out of the way. So I did keep the remote start add-on and I brought extra ground straps in from the bad from the melted wire harness so that there's grounds for the remote start components that, that need it. <coughs> Let's get ignition back in place. Remember, when we're working with ignition, we need to take the ignition cylinder out so that we can put the pass lock plug in. Make sure we properly route everything, such as steering column release. Okay, let's get headlights and running light control back in here. Because this is a former police car, the extra harness, the extra four pin connector for surveillance mode is punched out and I have the switch. On a harness for a car that doesn't have those features, this 
This wire, the, the four pin connector isn't deleted, but it's, it's pinned back. All right, let's get environmental controls back in here. Okay, let's get the multifunction switch installed. This is cruise control, if you have cruise control. The multifunction switch has two primary connections. Marker, wiper, high beam control, and this connector goes on to the shift selector to show the reverse lights when it's in reverse. There's a channel that the bundle of wires is supposed to follow. And it's this plastic tie back on the left hand side of the steering column. You push the multifunction switch connector together the lever will come forward, then you just pull the lever the rest of the way. Two screws to hold the multifunction switch on, on the top and on the left. The other Torx screws on here hold the other plastic pieces for shift linkage and stuff. Don't need to take that off when messing with the multifunction switch. Okay, let's get the radio reinstalled.
probably a good idea to know how much fuel we have and how fast we're going. So we're going to install the gauge cluster. The face actually holds the four-way, the hazard lights in place, but let's still connect it in case we need it. Before we do some tests to see if this is drivable, we should, uh, we should probably put a steering wheel on. Make sure you're still on your mark. Okay. Let's do uh, electrical system and um, indicator light check. And get the car off the jacks if those check out. <clears throat> okay. We have the battery reconnected and we got dome light let's see what we got we got ketone Okay, accessory mode, we got battery warning, I think this battery is bad, but I think we'll still be able to drive, I'll get the charger on, I'll put the charger on while I'm taking it off the wheel dollies. So, we got dome control. If we, if we switch to position two, we switch the key on. We have trunk open warning, we have airbag warning, we have seatbelt warning, we have security warning, we have engine check light. And we're running out of gas. So ambient light sensor has the dash illuminated. All right, so let's uh, let's charge the battery and start this thing, 
and go down the road. Okay, so now we're about to go for our first test drive. Tested all the fluids and air pressure and the tires. We got the uh, I got a flashlight, I got some tools in case it don't go so well. But I think it's going to be just fine. So let's see what happens. So this is the shoulder camera. As long as we start up okay and there's no sensor warnings, we're going to go for a ride. All right, battery's not holding the charge, but not a problem. Checked all the fluids. Checked tire pressure. We'll start this up, let it run for a minute. If we're okay, we'll go for a test drive. lights are working pulley wheel squeaks. We don't have any warnings. Let's see how it drives. Brakes are holding against an idle drive.
have any warnings except low fuel. Kind of weak stopping power at that stop sign, but it still stopped pretty quick. Try not to hit the gas too far. Now we got vacuum. Now the now the brakes are hard. Yeah. All right. Hopefully there's no traffic whenever I go over here. I'm gonna try to stop real hard. See where we're at. Feels like we have full power. I purposely waited until I started. I com I had completely started turning before I hit the gas. Power steering is feeling good. Okay, almost. That was that was a pretty good hard stop. I'll try another one over here. Feeling pretty good about it. 